In this video, we're going to continue our work on inductive reasoning. This is the reasoning you use when you draw conclusions on observations that you're making. So I observe a pattern in these numbers. And the follow question is, what is the next number going to be in our sequence of numbers? What will the next term, the sixth term, be? All right, let's, I don't see anything I could add or multiply or subtract to go from term to term. But let's use that subtraction idea. The difference of these two is 6. The difference of the next two is 16. The difference of the next two is 28. The difference of the next two is 42. Well, I don't see anything just yet I can notice with these numbers. Let's just do that subtraction again. 6 and 16, the difference is 10. 16 and 28, the difference is 12. 28 and 42, the difference is 14. When well, I do see something here, these seem to be changing by 2. What happens if we subtract again? 10 and 12, the difference is 2. 12 and 14, the difference is 2. And there's that thing we had earlier on in one of our other videos. The same difference between successive terms. We can use this idea now to find out what goes as our sixth term. Let's see what happens. If you look here between this one and this one, you add them together and you get that one. So 2 and 12 give me 14. 14 and 28 gives me 42. 42 and 51 gives me 93. Oh. So I can use that idea. Here's what we can do. If we put another one of our 2's right here, we'll do that same thing again. 2 and 14 gives me 16. 16 and 42 gives me 58. And 58 and 93 gives me 151. And that's the next term in that sequence. So I hope that helps you kind of get the idea what you can do. If you can get down to constant differences and you can go add them backwards, it will get you your answer. I hope that helps you with inductive reasoning. Have a very happy day.